almost a wall for 45 years. A man accused of deserting the military caught in Central Florida. Good evening. I'm Justin Mormuth in from Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The man has been running from the U.S. Air Force since 1972. Agents say he changed his name, even shed a few years off his age, and has been hiding out in Marion County. New 6's Troy Campbell is live at the Sheriff's Office tonight. So, Troy, how did deputies find him? Well, Lisa, it appears that he's been hiding in plain sight, living in his Ocala neighborhood with his wife. Investigators say he was able to go under the radar because he came up with a fake name, even filling out government documents with that alias. Deputies and United States Air Force Office of Special Investigations agents arrived at this gentleman's house this morning and took him into custody. When New Six stopped by 75-year-old Lindley Lemberg's home in this Ocala retirement community, a man outside his house described him as the nicest man he's ever known. The Marion County Sheriff's Office says the U.S. Air Force claims Lemberg went AWOL back in 1972, avoiding special agents for 45 years. Investigators say he changed his name to William Robertson, using a birth date exactly 10 years younger. News 6 has also uncovered several government documents Lemberg was able to obtain with the fake name, including this information on the Marion County Property Appraiser's website, showing he was able to use the name William Robertson on his property deed. He then gave fingerprints to our latent print examiners, and they compared those fingerprints that he gave today to the fingerprints that he gave when he enlisted in the Air Force, and they did match. It's unclear how long the U.S. Air Force had been actively seeking for Lemberg and what possible penalties he faces for not only going AWOL, but also falsifying official documents. This subject has been transported to MacDill Air Force Base in Tampa, Florida, and further investigation is ongoing by the United States Air Force. Now, I've also asked the U.S. Air Force how long Lemberg served before he went AWOL and also how many others have they detained in the last year for going AWOL. So, of course, once we hear back, we'll update you. Lisa, Justin, Troy Campbell, thank you so much. I appreciate it.